This is a quick one. What are we doing? We're going to work on the core, the stability of your spine, your lateral rib cage, and your center, but also your breath work. It's all about the breath work. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Fran. If you haven't met Fran, you can click on the series uh, on my YouTube playlist called Training with Fran. This is a quick one. What are we doing? A little bit of core work, working also on the breath and the stability of your rib cage, your pelvic floor, and how this beautiful cylinder of abdominal work correlates with your breathing. Okay, so feet are nice and engaged. We really try to press into that wall, shoulders and spine. We're just going to take that inhale, expand the rib cage laterally, exhale, let everything narrow it down. And then again, you might not see much, but it's fine. And then exhale. Step number two, when I exhale, I want to start lifting my shoulders off the floor. So finding the nice opening at the back and then back down. And again, one more, exhale. So I'm pushing my feet on the wall. Advanced version, number three, your hardest one. Engage your hamstrings, push into the wall. Inhale, on your exhale, reach up, keep your shoulders peeled off. And then with your shoulder mobility and range, I hold my whole body. And then back in, and then. Let's do four, four and four. Okay. So four, Steps stabilizing for reaching forwards and for backwards. Lily's gonna place her feet uh, on the on the on the on the wall. Put yourself back oh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Ninety degrees. Okay. Now I'm gonna give you this, this bar. It probably weighs around. What would you say? Like three kilos. Okay. So first one, we're gonna just stabilize the back and the breath. So you're gonna take an inhale. Your your head is on the floor. Shoulders on the floor. Inhale. Expand through the abdominals. <laughs> Exhale, let everything narrow down. And you'll feel that weight, not so you're pushing away. And again, inhale. Exhale. Push into that wall as well. Good, keeping this hip squared. Inhale. Exhale. Good, last one. Exhale. Good. On the next one, second one, we're going to lift our shoulders off the floor, chin stays connected. So let's take an inhale on the floor. Exhale, lift up. Good, and hold. And back down, inhale. Exhale, push the wall. Good, that is two. Let's go for two more. Are you ready? Inhale. Exhale. We're prepping for the hardest one to come. And down. Exhale, hold. Feel those shoulders peeling off the floor. And down. Now, can you, when you're ready, you're gonna work on that mobility as well without dropping the shoulders. So exhale when you're ready to lift up. Good, without dropping the shoulders, we send it back to where we can hold. Yes, rib cage down. Nice, back into center. And relax, three more of these. Let's go, lift up, good. And from here, we're connecting the rib cage to come in. Lovely, back into center and down. Really engage and push. We want those knees not to buckle in. Good, and back, lovely. This is what we call hollow body position in the upper body. And back into center and down. This last one, I want you to really make that effort to keep the shoulders lifted. So our shoulders peeled right there. Now slowly back with that collapse. Yeah, right there. Right there. Hold. Ribs down. Press. And down. Good. Oh my God. You have no idea how much that hurts. It's a simple movement, but it's an effective one. So, would you do three sets of that? I would, yes, especially if you're a beginner, do all four, all three moves, start from the base, to then building it up from the shoulders, to then building it up your mobility. Um, this is so good for your back, for your core, and to then get to full hollow body position, that's where our shoulders are lifted, our legs are lifted off the floor, oh, and we're in this yeah. sort of dish position facing the ceiling. Great. Yeah. Go on, get moving, get moving. No excuses, no excuses. Mm -hmm. Something simple, you can do this at home. What can they hold if they don't have a bar? 
to um, uh, 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 pints of uh, milk or yeah anything right it could be small weights it could be to water bottles uh to um, cans uh, of cans or to tennis balls yes and then eventually as your strength is better on your shoulders then you can add more weights the mm. bar that we were holding was around maybe three to four kilos mm. um and as your shoulder mobility is better right here then definitely start adding a little bit more weight don't forget if you've enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up and click on the notification bell so you get notified when my next video comes up and please subscribe